So what is the Register of Wills and why does the office matter? Well, my name is John Trigg and I'm running for the Register of Wills this year in Montgomery County. And I'm doing this video to tell you a little bit about what the Register of Wills is, what they do, and why I'm running. Now, it's a beautiful day out, but that means it's gonna be a little bit windy. So please bear with me as we go through this video. It'll be quick and I'll get right to the point. Let's start first with what the Register is not. All right, it is a non-legislative based office, meaning we don't write laws, we don't create policy, we don't go down to Harrisburg, we're not testifying in front of Congress. What the register is, is a customer service based office. It's a managerial supervisory position. Now, the register of wills has five main functions in the office, and their functions are, as it says in the name, dealing with wills and probating estates, that's the first one. The second is that we're the clerks for the orphans court, meaning we oversee scheduling, we oversee the processes. The third is we maintain all adoption petitions from within the county. The fourth is that our office actually issues the marriage licenses. And the fifth function, we collect inheritance taxes, which in 2018 was about $80 million. So those are the functions of the office, all of which are customer service based because they all require face-to-face -face interaction. Now, the office should run, should run as a customer service based office. It should be beholden to the voters, be beholden to the residents, because it's the residents who keep the office functioning. Without the residents, we don't need to issue licenses. Without the residents, there's no wills. Without the residents, there's no estates. So the residents should come first. Right now, this office runs as a governmental bureaucracy, meaning that you have to take an entire day out of work, head down to Norristown, pay for parking, go through security, go upstairs, take a number, wait your turn, hang out and hope they move through that line quickly. Don't worry about technology, they don't utilize any. It's still paper and pencil, which is okay to a degree, but the office is slow. It's slow to respond, it's inefficient, it's inaccurate, and according to the register himself, who's been in office now for 12 years, their customer service levels are only as good as efficiency and accuracy will allow. He said that in a Committee of 70 voter's guide. Now, the office can do better. If it's run as a true business entity, business survives on customer service. Without it, businesses die. That's a fact. That's the way business runs. I've got 25 plus years in business on the executive level, managerial level. I've owned several businesses. I plan on bringing that experience into this office with me. We are going to turn this into a customer service based office. Now, I happen to believe that if you put service first and with solid leadership, efficiency, accuracy, all those other issues, they go away with good leadership. With poor leadership, those are problems. Those are things that need solutions. A good leader comes in and cleans that up. It's taken 12 years, he hasn't done it yet. I'll do it within six months. Now, the office should be faster. Utilizing the latest technology, you can do things twice as fast as they're doing it now. The office should be expanded to open up more services, more availability, more transparency. Right now, the office is only open from 8.15 to 4.15. I don't know about you guys, but those hours are not conducive to doing business for most people who have a job. So we'll expand on that. We'll make the hours a little bit easier for people who have to come in because this is a huge county. Folks, I've been traveling it for three months. This county, it could take someone well over an hour to get to Norristown from some corners of this county. It's a long drive. And then they have to pay for parking on top of that, wait their turn going through security, wait their turn getting in the office. This is a full day procedure when some of these functions could be done in as little as five minutes with a computer and a video camera. It's done that way in several of the other largest counties within the state. It should be done that way in Montgomery County. We're the third largest county in the state, yet we utilize almost no social media whatsoever. We utilize almost no advanced technology whatsoever. So the office can be better. It can do better, and that's my plan. I plan on doing that with the office. I am going to fix it. I am going to speed it up. I'm going to cut the wait times. I'm going to improve services. I'm going to improve availability. I'm going to bring in the latest technology. I'm going to turn this into a service-based office the way it should be. So I hope you'll support me in that endeavor. If you have any questions at all about my campaign, please go to my website, johnforregister.com. Email me at johnforregister at gmail or call me at 215-941-9866 anytime. I'm happy to take the call. I will be traveling throughout the county for the next five months. If you'd like me to come to one of your events, if you'd like me to come and have coffee with you in the morning, if you'd like me to show up at a parade or at a township day or at a birthday party, whatever it might be, go to my website, fill out the form, and send it in. I'm happy to arrive. I'm happy to sit down and explain why I want to be in this office and what I'll do and how I'll do it to fix it. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope I have your support this November 5th.